rolling. Action. It's me again. You all right? God bless you all. I'm just trying to make JC laugh really. It's such an uncommon event. Right, on the Christian persecution front, I've actually got some vaguely good news. Like it's early days, but I have some, uh, some news that I found heartening. Obviously, I'm not an expert at all in Iraq uh, or the situation for Christians there. What I would say is this. Yeah, that um, over the weekend, well it was reported on the 13th that over the weekend the Iraqi Prime Minister, apologising in advance for the pronunciation, Mustafa al kadimi called for the return of Iraqi Christians to their homeland. With ISIS declared military, militarily defeated, al kadimi hopes that Christians will feel more comfortable in returning home, which is a good thing. We want less uh, internationally displaced people of any faith. We, uh, me personally, God made those borders for a reason. And he had those people before them for a reason. If it's in his plan for them to travel, all well and good, but not because of ISIS, basically. So we expressed these hopes uh, to a Chaldean Catholic patriarch called Louis Raphael the, fir uh, the First, as well as a number of other bishops from Iraq. He stated that Iraq is the country for everybody, and that Christians are the original children of the country, and there is no difference between the people of this same country, as everyone is a partner in building the future of Iraq. Uh, we are serious about providing assistance to our Christian families and solving their problems. Um, that would include Satan, so I, I think he's being quite brave there. Um, we are glad that Christians will return to Iraq and contribute to its reconstruction. Now, of course, there are some people who potentially know more about it than me that, well, there are some Christians who would rather not go back because they believe that the regime is just a... Uh, aiming to finish them off as it were but as we know it wasn't only Christians who fled the country Iraqis en masse poured out of the country and I'm not for one moment you know uh, casting blame but ISIS uh, turned up there as a result of a void which was opened up due to international uh, concerns as it were so that's not the business of me but the business of me is Christians is our brothers and sisters in Christ hallelujah that they're everywhere we are 2.3 billion people um, at the last count and some of them need to uh, be recognized for the suffering they're going through we know that all this suffering is to God's glory everything ultimately works to the glory of God and uh, hallelujah for that please do subscribe to uh, Soko Films and to my own and to Bob's channel as well he's about to make some vids God bless him and I'd really like it if you could see us on Parlor and on Soko Discord both of the links probably won't be in the description box but by the time I upload this to my channel they will be so God bless you all I pray uh, that you would find it in your hearts to pray for Bob, for myself, for Ben, for Baby Boy when he ever turns up again, for JC especially, for the Muslims at the park, that they would uh, have their eyes opened and their, their hearts, um, you know, turned to flesh by Jesus Christ, who is the living God, as you all know. God bless you all, and uh, I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you, sis.